hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 9 e-commerce series so now guys in this video we are going to make a wish list list okay so as we are adding the wish list so we need to view the wish list right so whatever we have added that we need to view in a wish list table okay so guys now let's get started so let's move to this number first guys and create a url with the name wish list so first step let's move to the let me close everything all set so first let's move to resource views layout and inside inc we have a front end and front end we have a navbar blade.php file and inside that we have a wish list option so now guys uh, let's move to this top nav bar and we find that wish list here so let's create a url where let's tell wish list let's copy this and get back to web.php routes web.php so let's create a url guys route colon colon get method where you paste the wish list and you need to go to a controller so we don't have a controller let's create the controller first open your terminal guys let's comment this first and now you can create a controller php artisan make colon controller where inside admin folder not admin front end front and forward slash wish list controller hit enter controller created successfully let's close the terminal let's get back to the app http controller where front end folder inside front end we find the wish list controller okay so let's type the path let me copy from above copy and paste so now let's change the controller name here let's tell wish list controller at index function so we have misspelled here guys that is capital w okay wish list controller all set now you need to go to this controller and create a index function so let's move to this list controller first and create one function with the name index and we don't require any type just remove that and here return view where we want to show the front end folder dot the wish list okay this list folder inside that index blade file so let's go to the resource views front end and inside front end i want to create a folder wish list and inside the wish list we need to create a file with the name index blade.php index.blade.php file perfect all set guys and now we need to extend our page so we can copy from the main the extending we need to set all the titles also let's close this paste here and end the section all set guys so here you set your page wish list so now guys uh, we need to design the wish list page so before designing let us check this page okay h4 tag wish list page save it and now let's refresh once guys and click on this wish list button let's click here wish list and you find that wish list page cool so now guys let's design this page in a live wire component so open your terminal and create a live wire so php artisan 
make colon live wire where inside front end folder forward slash wish list show okay so whatever data we want to show we will just show through this wish list show so for that let me just show you here in the live wire we have a front end folder and inside this front end folder i'd want to create this wish list show okay hit enter So now guys component created successfully class and view both so you can find that in the front end folder we have a wishlist show.php and we are linking with the live wire so we need to call this live wire component in our normal index blade file let's open tag and paste it close the tag give colon okay and now let's cut this let's go to this blade so here you move to your controller and this is the blade let's move to this blade live wire blade show blade here you paste it and you should see this wishlist page live wire save it refresh cool so you are in the live wire page so now guys let's begin designing this okay so for that guys i have just written a small post here which is your card cart or wishlist design here is a view and here is a html so you can copy this control c and just paste it and we don't require few things from this let me minimize this here is one row let me minimize this row and you are getting another cart items so which we don't require let's minimize again cart item so we have extra cart items you can remove that okay all set let's get back and copy the css also so let's copy this css code copy and paste in your custom CSS file which is in the public route public folder CSS custom dot CSS let's get back on the top and just paste that all set let's close it save and close let's get back and check the output perfect so we get the design guys and now let's fetch the whatever wish list we have added in our database so which is already here let's get back to the code yep so first step guys we need to go to wish list show live wire component at this render function we want to get all the wish list data so let's create one variable wish list is equal to where your wish list model colon colon use a where condition we need to check which user wish list we need to get so let's add user underscore id comma your authenticated user id okay and you need to get all the data so use a get function all set guys so you need to send this variable let's open and close the bracket here you send the variable and what data you are getting that dollar wish list okay all done guys so now you can get back to this blade live wire copy this variable get back to the blade and here you need to loop this cart item so your cart item variable so guys let's use for else here you paste your wish list of wish list capital i which is wish list item and if you don't find any item just print it like in a h4 tag no wish list added and you need to cut and paste here that's it all done and now guys let's get back to wishlist show so we need to import this class let's import the class guys 
so here our model is added and now let's refresh once so we can get the two wish lists which we have ordered in our database here perfect so now guys you can get back and list all the product name image price everything okay so first step let's copy this and this is your product name so let's call the product relationship from the wish list the product name so how are you calling this product model so you need to go to your model first let's move to this wish list model control c control e and control v find your model wishlist.php here you have your product id so now let's create a belongs to relationship dollar this belongs to to relation okay let's remove this dollar this from above and here let's set that product and the model which is product and the foreign key is your product id from the wish list model the foreign key is product id and from the product model your primary key normal id okay and you need to import this let's import it imported and you have to import this product model also let's import the class all set so now guys let's get back to the wishlist showblade.php and you'll be able to see the product name let's get back now you refresh here you see okay so shirt and your mi note 7 and now let's just validate if the product is not available at that time we need just we just need to skip the row okay so for that you can just add a if condition here if and paste that wish list of product if it is not available only then you have to skip that complete row done and you need to check again the image part so let's copy this guys and paste the image so here how will you fetch the image so we need to check the image from the products model because we have multiple images so for that case guys we just need to go to your wish list first and here we need to move to your product model let's go to that model guys product model here we are at the product model and we have the product images okay so we find this product images function let's copy this function name and then get back to the wish list show let me close this sidebar here and just add again like product images and from this product images images means multiple images not image it's an images we have multiple images and from that i just want the first record okay just add an static array format the first and the image column name so if you don't find let's go to that product image model let me move to that product image model and check for the column name that is image okay so we copy this image let's get back and paste it that's it let me bring this down what is this here we have an alt so you can paste the product name itself directly all set and this is the end of image and now guys the price let's copy this here we paste for the selling price selling underscore price and this is the quantity increment and decrement we don't require it actually in this list we don't keep only so you can just remove that quantity option here we remove and change this to column md4 and make it to 12 
that's it guys so now here is our remove button which will be working in next videos so now guys let's get back and refresh and we should get the correct details with the image perfect so we got the image the product name here is the product price and the remove button but we did not remove this header let's move on top and we have the card header let's remove this quantity we just need to add here and make it to four that's it so now refresh and you get your data all set guys so now guys when we click on this shirt or the product we need to go to that particular product okay so which we have already added the a tag let me show you so here we have the a tag we need to just link the proper url okay so let me just show you what is the url method guys let's go to the collections in the new tab here we set go to the mobile first and then we view the product so which means your collection your category and your product okay so this is the default let's copy this create a url url function first collections then your category so what is that category let's copy this dollar wish list of product of category we need to make it so here we set that dollar wish list product of category from that you are getting the slug okay so this will be your category slug and then your product slug so basically product slug is directly we can get it where just add this forward slash again concatenate paste it done guys and here you set the slug product slug and now let's if you want to know how this is going you can just go to this product model and check for the category function which belongs to that category id okay so here is the function name just need to paste that yep and this is a product right so refresh here first and let's click on this product called mi note 7 okay let's click it should view directly the product so you find that product okay so same product let me close this Control w let's get back to the wish list and click on the shirt product so let's click on that did you find collection men shirt product perfect all set guys so in this video that's it and let's continue next video about the remove item from your wish list so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share